Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this series, we are designing a responsive hero section from scratch for a blogger website. And in the last video, we completed the design of the desktop version. This is how it looks. Now in this video, we'll make it responsive so that uh, even the mobile users can have a great experience on your website. So let's get started. <laughs> So here I have reduced the width of the browser window and uh, this is how it looks right now for the mobile version. So it doesn't look nice. Everything seems cluttered. So let's add some styles for the mobile version. For that we'll be using media queries. So let's go to the style.css file and uh, here we'll just add a comment. And we'll just type media queries. And uh, to add media query you can just type at media. And in parentheses, you can just type the max width or the min width. So here we'll type max width of, uh, we'll just keep it to 600 pixels. So if the width of the window is uh, less than 600 pixels, then whatever style we have over here inside this block will be executed. Now to test that out, let's just type asterisk and uh, we'll just type display none. So if you are less than 600 pixels in width, then uh, everything should be hidden from uh, the screen. So we'll just type display none. And now we can see that nothing is being displayed on the screen. But if we increase the browser window, we can see that this style is not being applied because uh, we are more than 600 pixels. Alright, the media query is working fine. So let's delete this and uh, let's add the actual styling. Now let's go to a design and see how our mobile version is structured. So here we can see in the mobile version, the first thing we can notice is that uh, we don't have this hero image. So first of all, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the hero image in the mobile version. So if you go to the index.html file, we can see we have hero right. And in that we have the hero image and the search box. So for the hero image, we have this division with the class of hero image. Now let's go ahead and uh, hide that. So let me just refresh and uh, right, this is uh, our current styling. All right, so here we will type hero container, hero write and hero image. And here we just type display none. All right, now the hero image is not being displayed on the mobile version. The next thing we'll do is we'll position this search box to the bottom. So here we can see the search box is at the bottom and we'll just set the position to fixed so here I will just type hero container hero right and search box container and we'll set the position to fixed and uh, we'll set the bottom position to 32 pixels and uh, left to 0 and text align to center and we also need to set the right to 0 to bring it to the center Right, so now we have the search box at the bottom and the center. Now in the mobile version, we don't have this uh, desktop navigation being displayed over here. So let's hide that. So here we'll type nav.mainnav and we'll set the display to none. The next thing we'll do is we'll remove this uh, desktop BG from here because in our design, we have a different BG image for the mobile version. So if you go to the Explorer, we can see that we have an image called mobilebg.png. So we'll be using this instead of this desktop BG. So let's go ahead and hide that from here as well. So now that we are hiding a lot of things, we can just add everything inside just one block. So we can just add a comma over here and we'll just copy this from here and paste it over here. And we can just remove these lines of code from here and uh, even for this desktop BG, let's see what is the selector that we have for that. So if you scroll up, we can see this is the selector for the desktop BG. So let's copy this and add a comma and paste it over here. All right now we don't have the desktop BG displayed over here. Now we need to add the mobile BG to our HTML and let's see what else we need to add. So we need to even add this mobile navigation menu over here. And when we click on this uh, menu button, we also need to display the menu items. So for that, we'll be creating a separate uh, mobile navigation menu. So let's go to the index.html file and uh, let's uh, make the necessary changes. 
first of all let's add the mobile bg over here so we'll type img and img slash mobile bg dot png and we'll also add a class of mobile bg so here we can see if we scroll down the mobile bg is uh, added over here we'll style that later but first of all let's add all the other elements so let's scroll up and uh, let's add the mobile nav so after this uh, desktop nav let's create one more nav and uh, we'll just give it a class of mobile nav and in that we have two images so we have this logo over here and also this uh, menu button so let's add two anchor tags and uh, in the first anchor tag we'll just type img and we'll type img slash logo dot png now for the menu button we'll just add one more anchor tag and uh, here we'll just type img and i have this image called menu button dot png all right we have both these images displayed over here now we also need to add all the menu items for the mobile version so first of all we'll style uh, the mobile bg and uh, this mobile nav and then we will add the mobile navigation menu items so let's go back to the style.css file and uh, let's style the mobile bg so we'll type header wrapper img.mobilebg and uh, we'll just go to the desktop bg and we'll copy the styles from that so i'll just copy these three lines of code from here and paste them over here all right so the mobile bg is being displayed over here now let's style the mobile nav so let's add a new comment mobile nav and uh, we'll type mobile nav and first of all let's set a background color of 00324b and we'll set the position to fixed and now the width is uh, set according to the content so to set the width to 100% we have to set the left position to 0 and the right position to 0 and we'll set the display to flex and we'll set justify content to space between and uh, let's also add a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and we'll also set the z index to 400 i think this uh, image is a bit too large so let's go ahead and uh, set the height of the image so we'll type mobile nav img and we'll set a height of uh, let's test 50 pixels and uh, that looks all right you can set this height according to your needs so i'll just set it to 50 pixels now let's also uh, reduce the font size of uh, some of these elements i think uh, we can reduce the font size of uh, this subheading so let's select the selector from here so I'll just copy this and uh, paste it over here and uh, let's set the font size to 16 pixels and we can also reduce the font size of uh, the heading so we'll type hero container h1 dot hero heading and uh, let's set the font size to 32 pixels i think it's a bit too low let's set it back to 48 pixels or 42 pixels all right this looks fine i think we can set a margin left to this uh, hero left division so let's see how it looks we'll type hero container hero left and uh, margin left of uh, say 32 pixels and that looks fine by the way if you want to see how this looks on different mobile devices you can just right click over here and click on inspect and uh, i'm using the chrome browser so in different browsers you have different options for this so in chrome you have this uh, button over here called toggle device toolbar and when you click on that we can see that uh, we have different uh, views for different devices over here this is how it will look on a pixel 2 device it is also showing us uh, the width and the height of the device and uh, we can go ahead and check different devices over here so if we check Moto G4 this is how it will look on a Moto G4 device this is how it will look on an iPhone 10 so in this way you can check different devices let me just change this to pixel to XL All right now it's time for us to add the mobile nav menu items so for that let's go back to the HTML and after our mobile nav let's create a new division and we'll give it a class of mobile menu items and uh, in that let's copy and paste the ul from uh, our desktop nav 
So I'll just copy this and uh, paste it over here. And uh, we don't want to have this logo in between. So let's delete this LI from here. Now if you go back to the desktop view, we can see that uh, we also have this uh, two buttons for the mobile version over here and also this mobile nav menu items displayed over here. And we also have the mobile BG being displayed over here. So down here we can see that this is the mobile BG. So we don't want to display all this in the desktop version. So let's go back to the CSS and uh, let's hide all those from here in the desktop version. So let's go outside the media query and uh, here we will type mobile nav and also mobile menu items and also header wrapper mobile bg and we'll set the display to none for all of these so now we can see we don't have any mobile elements displayed on the desktop version so let's go back to the mobile version so let's scroll down and uh, let's style the mobile menu items over here so I'll just type mobile menu items and uh, we'll set the height to 100 viewport height and uh, we'll set the display to flex and we'll align items to the center and justify content to the center. We'll set the position to fixed so that uh, it will be fixed on the screen when it is being displayed. And we'll set the left to zero and the right to zero to bring it to the center. Now let's set a background color and we'll set it to 003 to 4B. And we'll also set the Z index to 200. All right, now let's remove these uh, bullets from here. So we'll tap mobile menu items ul and we'll set the list style to none and we'll text align it to the center and we'll also set the padding to zero so that it'll be right in the center right now let's style the list items so we'll type mobile menu items ul li and we'll set the margin to 32 pixels top and bottom zero for left and right and now let's style the anchor tags so we'll type mobile menu items ULLIA and we'll set the color to FC 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 and we'll remove the underlines so we'll type text decoration to none we'll set the font size to 16 pixels and text transform to uppercase and also set the font weight to bold now the thing is we don't want to display this uh, mobile menu items uh, by default. We want to display it when uh, the user clicks on this uh, menu button. So by default we will set the opacity of this to zero. So let's add some more styles over here and uh, we'll set the opacity to zero and we'll also set the transform to translate y to minus 100 viewport height. So at the beginning, our mobile menu items division will be above the screen and it will also have the opacity set to zero. We'll also set a transition for smooth animation. So we'll set all to 400 milliseconds. Right now we will add an active class to the mobile menu items. And when the active class is added, we want to set the opacity to one and also reset the translate value. So let's type mobile menu items dot active. And make sure that you don't have any space between these two words because uh, we want to have both these classes applied on the division. So we'll set the opacity to one and also set the transform translate y to zero. Now the only thing we need to do is uh, add and remove the active classes to the mobile menu items whenever we click on this uh, menu button. So for that we'll be using a couple of lines of JavaScript. So let's create a new JavaScript file and we'll just name it main.js and uh, we need to reference two things over here one is uh, the mobile menu items and the next is uh, this menu button so for the menu button we will add a class and we'll call it menu button so let's reference these two things over here in the main.js file before that let's add the main.js file to our HTML so here we'll type script src and we'll type main.js over here. All right, let's go to main.js and uh, let's type menu button and we'll set it to document dot query selector 
dot menu button and let's reference the mobile menu items so we'll type mobile menu items as uh, the name of the constant we'll also set everything to constant and we'll type document dot query selector mobile menu items so now we have these two constants over here in javascript which has reference to the menu button division and also the mobile menu items division now let's add an event listener to the menu button so let's type menu button dot add event listener and we'll set the event listener for the click event and let's create a function over here and in this function we will add and remove the active class to the mobile menu items so we'll type mobile menu items dot class list dot toggle so toggle means if there is a class then it will be removed and if there is no class called active then it will add the active class so we'll set the class to active over here all right now this should work so let's test it out let's click on the menu button and we can see that the mobile menu items are being displayed over here let's click on this menu button once more and it disappears so that's basically it with the mobile version of our responsive hero section so i hope that you found this video useful and uh, if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and i will also leave the link of the source code in the description below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day